In today's video, I'm going to recreate one of the most heart-wrenching, sad moments from all of Ninjago. This is where Zayn sacrifices his life to save his friends and to save Ninjago City. I'm going to create the Golden Master's mech. Once I'm done with my mock, the voice actor for Zayn is going to check it out. We have to build it good. So way back in 2014, they came out with this really awesome set. It was a big temple area, and it also came with the Overlord Golden Master's mech. It came with a minifigure of the Overlord Golden Master, which now you can buy for about $50. So in Instead of spending $50 on the Overlord, I am actually going to make my own Overlord. So in this show, once he gets in his three-legged mech, he actually somehow turns really, really big. Or maybe he's just sucking in power and getting like big vegetables. He's like giant. Got the legacy instructions for Cold Earth Driller. It comes with this super legit four-armed stone armory guy. So I flipped through the instructions, got a couple pointers, and started working on the head. After about five different variations of trying to make this helmet, I got it right. I had to use a bunch of different techniques. Once I was done, it looked pretty good. Now it's time to move on to the body. I totally messed up on the head because it can't rotate. It's just stuck on by stud. The head can turn now. And we also have these cool shoulder pads, metal beards, beard in gold. But I wanted that cool logo on his chest. So I decided to go to my computer and make a couple stickers for this. So the first sticker I made was for the head because the stone warrior head looked cool, but it was not accurate at all. And then made one for the chest to make it look like he's got more armor and he's got that logo there. So I uploaded them on Snapfish and ordered them, picked them up at Walgreens. We've secured the sticker sheets. So I cut them out super, super fast, put some glue stick on them, and then put them on the Overlord, and boy, howie! Sorry, that was weird. It looked good, though. Now, back in 2014, I was, I was buying Chima. Like, I was really, really, really into Chima and didn't buy any Ninjago. So I needed to buy that awesome Zayn character with half his face cut off. I went on to Bricklink, found the character, and I got a great deal. I spent $5 on the minifigure, which was awesome. I got it in the mail, ripped the bag open. That sounded good. So I got the legs from his original character, put them on, and then put this silver shoulder pad on. I gave him some ice powers coming out of his hands. Now he's ready to take on the Overlord. Now the characters were done. All I had to do was make this three-legged huge mech. Uh, three legs. It, you have to do what I like to call thinking. And I'm not very good at it. So I had to think about where I wanted to position these legs. So this piece right here first came out in Next Night. Next Show Night! It has studs at three different angles. Perfect for what I was going for. So I connected the legs onto here and just built out from there. I used 8080 joints, which are basically impossible to bend. And if you're super weak like me, you can barely even. Now it was time for the three legs. So I ended up using a bunch of my brother's gold pieces to make these legs. So for one leg, I used five different type of gold claw pieces. Two of these long sword type of pieces, two of these newer claw pieces, and then one of these claw pieces that came in the original set. So I used Next Night Shield because they were pointy and they just looked really cool. I also had to order some nice big slope pieces to finish off the legs. When the minifigure scale Lego set, they use these pieces right here, but I was building this like three times the size. Finally, I found it, but it was going to be risky. Because I bought so much Chima back in the day, I had a bunch of these really big, nice, transparent blue claw pieces. The only problem is they literally don't make these in gold, so I had to spray paint them. I got the spray paint out, shook it for like an hour. Spray painted the first coat yellow. Then I put another coat on that was gold. Once they were dry, they looked phenomenal. Now it was time to add them to the mock and see if they actually look good. This mock was coming together beautifully. So I had a couple different ideas for the gun. I tried to work a function in there where you like turn a knob and it like flips up and it was a really cool idea. It looked like a thing was coming up and like covering his head so he like had a hat on. It was dumb. So then I just used a bunch of Technic pieces to make this stand and put a awesome gun on the top. So let's go check it out. So here we have it guys, the Golden Master mech. And this is way bigger than the original and I'm super happy with how it turned out. We have Zane in his stone armor ready to take on the Overlord. We have this huge awesome Overlord minifigure. It doesn't come with legs because uh, I couldn't fit him in there with legs. Then we have this huge three-legged robot machine that destroyed Ninjago City, basically. It's got three big legs with gold spikes along the outside. Moving up, we kind of have the body of this machine. It's got some really big gold spikes coming around either side. Back behind the Overlord, you have a cool pink power source that powers the gun. 
and up on top, then you have the gun, which rotates any way you want it to. So guys, if you want to build this too, you totally can. Go to brick-legends.com or the link in the description where you can pick up the instructions for this awesome set. It also comes with the sheet of paper. This thing is half off from now until this date right here. And yes, you can officially get more power on my store too. And let's see what the voice actor for Zane has to say about this. Subscribe.